Welcome to Kit Catastrophe. My name is Kit, and today we'll be taking a look at Transformers Generation 1 Autobot Mini Vehicle Warpath. This figure came out in 1985 as part of the Mini Vehicle Assortment, and is a repaint of an unused and unreleased mold from Takara's MicroChange toy line. Specifically, we will be taking a look at the 2019 Walmart exclusive reissue. Warpath is the beefiest of the mini vehicles I have thus far, transforming into a pale red General Motors M551A1 Sheridan ARAV tank. Like I said, this is pretty meaty for a mini vehicle, and is just dense with sculpted detail across the top. All of the major details are picked out here, with multiple personnel hatches and various other accoutrements present. The treads and the mechanisms therein are also really nicely detailed. The turret can rotate a full 360 degrees, adding to the playability of this mode. Warpath's transformation is the most unique out of my mini vehicle collection, including a lot of sliding joints and 90 degree bends, reminding me just a little bit of how the original Megazord came together. My favorite touch would have to be how Warpath's head comes out of the hatch on top of the turret. Warpath's robot mode is, well, unique I guess. It appears to me that the original intention of this robot mode was to be a sort of mobile paddle platform that also had arms. Sort of like a pilotless nightmare frame, I guess? That's not... that's probably not the best comparison. Anyway, it's clear that he can't exactly keep rolling forward since he'll run out of tread if he does, but it's fun to pretend. Still, the proportions are quite odd, even for a Generation 1 figure. Alright, posability for Warpath. It's, uh... Well, it's not much. He can move his arms forward and backward all the way, especially if you pull them out all the way. Um, some people, some people uh, just keep his arms like that, hugged safely next to his um, phallic bosom, but uh, the proper way to do it is to pull them out, and he can lift his head above his turret, or sorry, his hand above his turret. His, uh, his hands don't exactly go uh, much further out than his chest does, so that's a little awkward. Uh, speaking of a little awkward, is he actually technically has head rotation, but um, it's on the turret, so things get a little wonky when you try to get him to turn left or right, or, you know, behind him, if you so desire. Um... He can sort of lean back on his ankle, and uh, he would have an ab crunch if you brought the cannon forward and he was like, oh. But uh, that's more getting back into tank mode. So just like every other G1 figure I've reviewed, uh, posability is pretty much nil, so not too much to worry about really but at the same time, not too much you can actually do. This rounds out my current mini vehicle collection, and since I don't see myself acquiring more anytime soon, I can safely say that Warpath is definitely my favorite of the bunch. He's all around really unique compared to the others. While Tailgate has my favorite alternate mode and Gears has my favorite robot mode, Warpath has my favorite transformation and features a lot of playability for what is essentially the most basic size class in the line. You definitely can't go wrong picking up this Coprolalia afflicted character, especially if you're picking up more than one of the mini vehicle reissues. This has been Kick Catastrophe, it's time to transform and roll out. <laughs>